Let's uncover the mystery of the JavaScript event loop, breaking down how tasks are executed with micro tasks and micro task queues and their priority. The event loop processes tasks in a specific order to ensure that JavaScript is non blocking. There are mainly two queues one is micro task queue, another is macro task queue. So, micro task queue it includes tasks like promises, queue micro task, and mutation observer. And macro task queue includes tasks like uh, set timeout, set interval, and input output operation like uh, click handler or any other uh, event handlers. So the event loop works by first executing all synchronous code. After that, it clears the micro task queue entirely uh, before picking one task from the macro task queue. This ensures that micro task queue always gets higher priority. Here is an example to see the order in action. So we have the code where synchronous code, set timeout, and promises are there. So let's see the order of execution. The synchronous code runs first, start and end are logged immediately. Next, the event loop clears the micro task queue. So micro task one and micro task two are logged next. Uh, the event loop processes macro task one at a time. So macro task one is executed. After that, any micro task added during the macro task are cleared. Uh, none in this case. Uh, finally, the second macro task, which is macro task two, is executed. So the full output is start and uh, micro task one, micro task two, macro task one, and macro task two. And that's how the event loop works, ensuring that JavaScript remains non blocking and efficient.